Hi, Amy. How are Hi, you? Hi, sir. Good? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very good, very good. Thank you. So we did uh, discuss something about uh, kinematics and dynamics. So is this concept clear mm -hmm. to you, Amy? Yes, it is. It is, okay. So today we'll take a, a few more examples based on what you shared with me and uh, further look into these two topics. We'll take one example with uh, the state of the body, which is uh, in an elevator. And what really happens if we put this uh, body on uh, a scale and measure uh, the force, right? While the mm -hmm. elevator is going down or up. In that case, we'll see what kind of changes still happen in the measurement of uh, weight, right? So I'll share with you what uh, I have prepared and then we'll go from there. All right. Okay. So can you see the screen? Yes, I can. Okay, great. So uh, Amy, please read the question. All right. So a 60 uh, kg person is standing on, on a bathroom scale inside an elevator. The scale is calibrated in Newtons. Mm -hmm. What will the scale read when the elevator is moving up or down with constant velocity? Right. Accelerating up at 1.5 meter per second squared. Accelerating down at 0.5 meter per second squared and accelerating down with an acceleration of G. Okay, so if that is the type of question, how will you solve such a question? What is your thought about it? Um, okay, so, I mean, if so, if it says uh, accelerating up or down, like if that co if the constant is given, um, it depends on the question, Wait, is that just the question? The mass is given as well. Is there no other values? Yeah. So the mass is given to us. Oh, okay. And the f yeah, so if the mass and the acceleration is given, we can use Newton's second law, um, force equals ma, and then work correct. from there. Yeah, so force equals to ma, right, that is correct. So acceleration basically is equal to uh, force divided by mass, correct? So we could work from there, correct? Yeah. So in the first case, when the object is moving up or down with constant velocity. In this case, mm -hmm. what is uh, the scale reading? Um, if it's moving up or down with a constant velocity. Yeah, so on the elevator, let us say this is the object, correct? And the, yes. and the scale is actually measuring the Newton value. So the downward force, which is mg, and fn is the normal force, correct? So the scale which is yeah. on this actually measures the normal force. So remember that okay. scale measures normal force. Correct? So in the first case- Wait, how come it doesn't have- Sorry, how come it doesn't have the mg as well? Is the mg only for the elevator? Okay, no, uh, a, scale, a person is standing on the scale, so fn equals to mg for the time being when everything is at stationary. Oh, okay. Because fn okay. equals to mg uh, when, when you're just uh, staying there, uh, when it begins with, correct? So when you stand on the scale, yeah. for example, on a floor, for example, it shows you your own weight. Right, so basically it is the mm -hmm. weight mg, but it's a reaction. So action and reaction are equal and opposite. So what the scale shows is the, the reaction fn, the force which is exerted upwards from the ground. That is what the scale is oh. actually showing, you, correct? So this is what it All is right. showing. So in that case, it is mg, or, or in this case, you can always calculate the value to be 16 to G, right? 16 to 9.8 will give you the value. Is it clear to you? In Newtons, correct? Mm -hmm. So scale will okay. give you that value in Newtons, right? Now, let's begin. Let's say now in this case, we are in an elevator. So elevator will be moving up, down with constant acceleration or with constant velocity. 
So in the first case, if the elevator is moving up or down with constant velocity, in that case, what do you expect the reading on the scale to be? Um, I don't know. Wait, how, how, up or down? The, the constant velocity part is, I don't know if we have to use the whole SUVAT thing, but we don't, do we? Constant velocity means acceleration is zero. So when acceleration is zero, then the net force oh. is zero. Net force is also equal to zero. So in that case, it is like um, standing on the ground. I mean, not moving at all, right? So in that case, oh, okay. the scale will read what it will normally read. Okay, so that okay. is a state of equilibrium. And in that case, uh, you will see that same reading, which is going to be 19 to 16 to 9.8, correct? You get the idea. So whenever yeah. we say yeah. constant velocity, that means acceleration is zero. When acceleration is okay. zero, then external force is zero. So, zero. so when you're moving, mm -hmm. external force is zero. Therefore, in this particular case, Fn is equal to mg. That is the case, correct? Straight away. You get the same value as the weight of the body. Yeah. So that is what it is. Now, we have two other examples which says the acceleration is given to you while the lift is going up or it is going down. So if it is going up, in that case, what do you think will be the scale reading? Will it increase or will it decrease? Increase. Increase, correct. So now what is happening is when we say that the acceleration, the lift is going upward, you feel heavier, right? So it is going with a constant mm. acceleration A upwards, let us say the value is 1.5. Now in that case, if you draw the free body diagram for this particular case, what will you get? Well, in that case, we'll have a force which is acting downwards, which is Mg, correct? And we have Fn, which is acting upwards, correct? And we have an acceleration which is going upwards. So this external force, is not zero now because there is a movement which is upwards, correct? Right, yeah. So the net force in this system is some of these two forces. That is to say, we can say it is Fn plus mg, or we can say F due to gravity. And this net force is equals to m times a. Is that clear to you? Mm -hmm. So Fg is basically just mg. Fg is basically mg. And Fn, we don't know, okay. actually, right? But it is moving right. up. So yeah. we get an idea that Fn is greater than Fg, right? Now, whenever yeah. we solve such a question, we have to follow a convention. So we can say upwards is positive. We can say upwards is positive. In that case, Fg will be treated as negative because going downwards is in the opposite direction. You get the idea, right? Right, yeah. So... And we know that the scale basically gives you Fn. So Fn is basically equal to Ma, I should write Ma minus Mg. Is that clear to you? Mm -hmm. Rearranging this equation. Yeah. Where, yeah. where we know that since this value Fg will be treated as negative since it is in the opposite direction, you get my idea. And then we can then can we take yeah M the value yeah value of a and can be substituted and we can calculate our answer is that clear to you? Mm -hmm. So can you say that's a general rule for when um, an object is moving up? So f n equals m, m a minus, a minus g. g. Got it. So yes. So the general rule would be f n equals to. It's better to write this as f n equals to uh, m a minus fg, correct? So that will become your general rule. You have to take your convention, which side is positive. Either way, you get the same answer. Is that clear to you? Okay, yeah. Right, so if we take up as positive, then this a will be positive, but this g will be negative. You understand? Because g will be acting right. downwards. Yeah. That negative will make this as positive in the first case, right? And will give you the answer for fn, and that becomes your final answer. Is that clear to you? So that is the yeah. concept mm -hmm. whenever we are dealing with such a situation where a body is moving up or down vertically. Oh, right. Okay. Now let's look into yeah. uh, whatever we have discussed 
in more details. So what we have done here is, this is our free body diagram. So, so here we have this body and the, we are considering that the object is moving up. I've shown acceleration A being positive while moving up. That's the whole idea, right? So Fn is the reaction uh, and Fg is the force due to gravity. So what we learned here is that in such cases, the bathroom scale reads the normal force on the person, which is Fn. So that is what the scale is reading. Remember that part, right? So what is the actual reading reflecting us, correct? It is yeah. definitely, in this case, not Mg, right? Because the system is moving, correct? That is why. So, and then we have to choose positive or negative direction. It is always better to choose upwards as positive or east as positive, right? So these two directions are normally treated as positive. You can say oh, not, okay. positive, right? So we choose that. Is this only for acceleration? Yeah, for everything. The displacement, acceleration, oh, okay. velocity, everything. We use this direction of movement mm -hmm. as positive, south and west as negative. All right. Then determine the force of gravity acting on Fg. So Fg force of gravity is definitely Mg. In our case, we are given 60. So we can multiply 60 by 9.8 and we get what? Uh, 6 times 8, 48, 4, 6 times 9, 54, 588 newtons, right? So that becomes the Fg. Now, since we are taking this as downward force, it will be always treated as negative. Do you understand? This will be treated as negative. Mm. It is acting in the downward direction. So for us, the Fg value is going to be minus 588. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you... Look into FBD, you can clearly see that the sum of forces Fn plus Fg should be equal to the acceleration in the body from Newton's law, Ma, correct? Rearrange, mm -hmm. we get a formula that Fn is equal to Ma minus Fg, where the value of Fg is minus 588. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For different situations, if the situation is A, whenever we say constant velocity, it means A equals to zero, correct? So for the first case, since A is zero, we know Fn is equals to minus Fg, and the value of Fg is minus 588, and therefore, in this case, the value will be 588. In Wait, sorry. Um, so when we had Fn. Yes. Did we have Fn? Fn is Ma minus Fg. Acceleration is zero. Okay, let's go to the next page. I have actually clearly written this. Uh, so let's look into this particular uh, case now. So we know that Fn plus Fg is Ma, correct? Yeah, Fn yeah. Nine so when yeah. you rearrange, we get Ma minus Fg. Mass is 60 kg. And the force due to gravity is actually minus 16 to 9.8 since the yeah. direction is taken as negative. So Fg is minus 588 newtons. Substituting minus 588 newtons here, we get our equation as Fn equals to 60A plus 588 in general, because the mass of the person is 60 kilograms. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. so yeah. For example, I could always use this equation, which is Fn is equal to 60 times acceleration plus 580. Is it okay? Oh, and then, yeah, yeah. And then acceleration was given, so you just sub that in. Now we will take each and every case, right? So in the first case, oh, the right. acceleration is zero, substitute mm -hmm. zero here, and we get our answer. You get the idea. Yeah, yeah. In the second case, so the yeah. Main, yeah, so the main part is like finding a general formula to answer the following questions. Yes. Don't just go into each one. Oh, Correct. okay. That's now why I didn't do that. That's why I struggled. The is 1.5. It is positive 1.5. Yeah. Substitute positive 1.5. Calculate your answer. You get the idea. So that is how yeah, you can yeah. very easily solve such a question. So first part is just to right. generalize the question. Try to understand the whole concept. And then you can write... The scale reading will be 588 in the first case, which is constant velocity. And the second case, the scale reading will be 
678. It is always in Newton, so I'm not writing Newton here, right? 678. Yeah. Since it is acceleration, constant acceleration of 1.5 meters upwards. So when an object moves upwards, right. the elevator moves upwards, you feel heavier, right? Now, when yeah. you're going downwards, you have to feel lighter, correct? So when you feel right. downwards on the same formula, the acceleration moving down means negative. So we Minus. have a value which is negative. Uh, I wrote what? I think I copied from the previous case. It is negative 0 0.5, right? So do your calculations, negative 0 0.5, and write down your answer, correct? So I think you get 60. I'll do 588 minus 60 into 0.5. So I, I wrote 1.5. So recalculate. So it is uh, 528.5. Five, five. Correct? Um, I got 558. You got 558? Let's calculate it. Yeah, so 60 times minus, 558, right? Five yeah, minus, minus 30 plus 588 yeah, gives five. 558. Yeah. Okay. I used the same value 1.5, but it was 0 0.5. So when you use 0 0.5, mm -hmm. you get 558, right? But you get an idea. When it is moving down, right. in that case, A is negative, right? A is negative. That is important to understand, correct? Now, when you are moving down mm -hmm. with the same acceleration as the gravity. It's like a free fall, correct? So when it's a free fall, right, yeah. you expect zero reading for that. So minus 9.8 is the acceleration. And when you do that, 60 times minus 9.8 plus 60 times plus 9.8 will give you zero. And so oh. you get the reading as zero. Is that clear to you? Yeah. So is that true for like any case when, when an object is falling like freely and gravity, the gravity is the only force acting on it. it the, the net exactly. force will always be zero. Exactly. That is oh. right. So do you understand the concept uh, of how to solve such a question? Yeah, yeah, I do know. Okay, clear. So I'd like you to uh, summarize what we have learned today in this uh, particular session. Uh, and then we'll take up another example and then go into details into a different kind of a uh, question. Okay, so can you summarize our learnings? All right. Yeah, so um, we discussed about um, objects mainly to do with acceleration um, and using Newton's second law, but um, knowing when acceleration is zero, um, positive, increasing, and then negative. Um, so the main part I learned was even when an object is move moving at constant velocity, the acceleration is zero. Yeah. Um, and then what we did with the questions is since they were following each other, um, we found a general formula um, for the acceleration um, along with the force and the mass, um, knowing that the net force equals um, MA minus MG, or you could say FG. FG. Um, meaning the same thing. And then you just sub in the values and then get your answers. And it makes sense because the force that you get in the end. So when we saw with zero, it was 588. When we saw it was with um, acceleration, which was positive, we saw the number get larger. And then when you saw acceleration that was smaller, um, you got the, the force got um, smaller. And then when you have a um, object just acting freely with gravity, then just know that the net force would always be zero since gravity is the only force acting. It's absolutely on. clear, right? That's yeah. perfectly fine. That's great. So we'll end our session at this point uh, by uh, learning on what happens to us reading of a, a weighing scale when you are traveling in a okay. or an elevator. Fine? Okay, then. Right. Yeah.